Too many AWS certifications to choose from? Not sure where to start? If that sounds like you, stick around and I'll demystify the world of AWS certifications and help you choose the right one for your career goals. If it's your first time on the channel, my name is Soren and I'm a partner development manager at AWS. I'm passionate about helping people break into tech and level up their cloud skills. And this channel is all about making that journey easier for you. All right, now let's dive into the video. Before we get into specific AWS certification paths, let's zoom out and look at how AWS structures your certifications. AWS offers four levels of certifications. First, foundational. This is ideal for beginners looking to understand the basics of AWS and cloud computing. Examples include the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and the AWS Certified AI Practitioner. Second, associate more technical and job role specific, covering cloud architecture, development, and operations. Examples include AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Third, professional, advanced level certifications that validate deep expertise. These include AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. Four, specialty, focused on niche areas like security, machine learning, and databases. Examples include the AWS Certified Security Specialty. So which one should you go for? Well, that depends on your career goals, experience, and interests. Before jumping into AWS certification prep, ask yourself these four key questions. Number one, career goals. Are you looking for a career switch or an upgrade? Second, job market demand. Which AWS certifications are most valued by employers? What's the ROI in terms of salary or career growth? Next, your background. Are you new to cloud computing or already have some experience? And last but not least, interest areas. Do you enjoy networking, security, AI, or data analytics? You want to find a sweet spot between what excites you, what aligns with your career goals, and what's in demand in the job market. Now, let's break down three of the most popular AWS certifications and why they're worth considering. First up, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. This covers designing and deploying scalable AWS solutions. It's also in demand for cloud architects, engineers, and consultants. And last, it's high ROI. The average salary for AWS Certified Solutions Architects is around 120,000 plus USD per year. Next, AWS Certified Developer Associate. This certification focuses on cloud native application development. It's ideal for software engineers working with AWS services like Lambda, DynamoDB, and API Gateway. Demand is growing as more companies build serverless and cloud native applications. Third, AWS Certified Security Specialty. This focuses on AWS security best practices, IAM, encryption, and threat protection. It's essential for cybersecurity professionals and cloud security engineers. With security threats on the rise, demand for certified AWS security experts is sky high. On the flip side, if you're just starting out, I highly recommend one of these two foundational level AWS certifications. AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This one covers AWS basics, core services, billing, and security. It's great for beginners, sales professionals, and non-technical roles wanting to understand cloud computing. Next up, AWS Certified AI Practitioner. This certification focuses on fundamental AI and machine learning concepts within AWS. It's ideal for those interested in AI, but with little to no prior experience. With AI now transforming industries, this certification is great for beginners exploring cloud-based AI solutions. As a new starter at AWS recently, I've personally taken both of those certifications and highly recommend them to anyone wanting to learn more about the AWS ecosystem. If you want to go deep into AWS, follow a technical certification path based on your role. For example, the Cloud Architect path. First, you would take the Cloud Practitioner Cert, followed by Solutions Architect Associate, and finishing off with Solutions Architect Professional. If you wanted to be a DevOps engineer, you'd follow this path. Take the Cloud Practitioner Cert, followed by Developer Associate, ending with the DevOps Engineer Professional Cert. Finally, if you're an aspiring security engineer, you will take this path. Take the Cloud Practitioner and go deep with the Security Specialty Certification. Companies want professionals with specialized cloud skills, so stacking certifications in a single path boosts your expertise and earning potential. If you're in sales, project management, or business strategy, a broad understanding of AWS can still give you an edge. As an example, you'd start with AWS Cloud Practitioner to understand basic 
AWS terminology. Or if you're interested in AI driven solutions, consider AWS certified AI practitioner to learn how AWS AI services work and how businesses leverage them. Understanding AI is becoming a must have skill, even for non-technical professionals, making the AI practitioner cert a great option for those wanting to future proof their careers. Now that you've chosen an AWS certifications, how do you prepare? One good way is by using the AWS training and certification portal. AWS offers free learning paths and exam guides for each certification. Secondly, you could use AWS Skill Builder and practice exams. This platform offers hands-on labs and official practice exams to help you test your knowledge. Third, you could use Stefan Marek's Udemy courses. He's one of the best AWS trainers out there. His courses are well structured and cover everything needed to pass AWS exams. I've personally used them to prepare for my AI practitioner cert and cloud practitioner cert and found them extremely helpful. Finally, exam readiness white papers and FAQs. AWS documentation and FAQs often contain answers to real world exam questions. Hopefully by now, you have a clear idea of which AWS certification is right for you. If you're still unsure, drop a comment down below with your career goals and I'll help you decide. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future AWS and cloud career content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.